Imagine this. You're standing in your living room, watching a 100-inch movie screen floating in mid-air. Your workspace stretches across virtual windows, and your surroundings adapt in real time. That's not sci-fi anymore. It's what devices like the Apple Vision Pro M5 and Samsung Galaxy XR are bringing into reality. But here's the big question. Which headset actually delivers the better experience? The ultra-polished world of Apple or Samsung's open, flexible approach to spatial computing? Let's break it down and see which one truly deserves a spot on your face and maybe your credit card bill. Starting with design, both brands clearly took very different approaches to how a next-generation headset should look and feel. The Apple Vision Pro M5 carries forward that signature Apple aesthetic, sleek aluminum edges, a curved glass front, and a premium feel throughout. The new dual knit band adds better balance and comfort, especially during longer sessions. But let's be honest, it's still not a lightweight headset tipping the scale at around 750 to 800 grams depending on configuration. The Samsung Galaxy XR, in contrast, is a slightly more utilitarian in design, a bit less flashy but very ergonomic. The headset itself weighs only about 545 grams, and it connects to an external battery pack weighing around 300 grams. This design keeps the front of the headset lighter and reduces face pressure, though you do have to carry that extra battery somewhere. In short, Apple's Vision Pro M5 looks and feels premium, but you'll feel the weight after a while. Samsung's Galaxy XR focuses on balance and wearability, even if the design isn't as striking. When it comes to visuals, both headsets are in a league of their own. Apple equips the Vision Pro M5 with dual micro OLED displays, each boasting a resolution of 3660 by 3230 pixels per eye, for a total of about 23 million pixels. The real upgrade here is performance, with the M5 chip now allowing up to 120 Hz refresh rates, making everything from UI motion to video playback incredibly smooth. Samsung's Galaxy XR counters with micro OLED panels of its own, at 3840 by 3552 pixels per eye, offering about 27 million pixels total. The refresh rate ranges from 60 up to 90 Hz, and it has a slightly wider field of view at around 109 degrees horizontally, which means it feels more open and immersive, especially in interactive or gaming scenarios. So who wins here? Apple takes the lead for refresh rate and fluid motion, while Samsung edges ahead on raw resolution and wider view. The difference in real-world use? Apple's visuals feel a touch smoother, while Samsung's world feels a bit larger. Under the hood, this is where the two headsets truly separate themselves. Apple's Vision Pro M5 introduces the all-new Apple M5 chip, a 10-core CPU, 10-core GPU, and a 16-core neural engine built on a 3nm process. It's the same silicon architecture used in Apple's high-end MacBooks, so performance is off the charts. You get faster rendering, improved multitasking, and better AI-driven tracking accuracy. Samsung's Galaxy XR, meanwhile, runs on Qualcomm's XR2 Plus Gen 2, a chipset designed specifically for extended reality. It's optimized for real-time environment mapping, low latency tracking, and efficient performance. While it doesn't quite hit M5 levels of power, it delivers an excellent experience for productivity, entertainment, and mixed reality gaming. In essence, Apple's M5 is a computing powerhouse, while Samsung's XR2 Plus Gen 2 is a specialized XR performer. Apple is the stronger option for professionals and creators, while Samsung's chip hits the sweet spot for consumers and early adopters. Here's where the biggest philosophical difference lies, Apple's Vision OS versus Android XR. The Vision Pro M5 runs on Vision OS 2, a beautifully integrated platform that feels futuristic but familiar. You can use your eyes to navigate, your hands to interact, and your voice to command. It syncs seamlessly with your iPhone, iPad, and Mac, making it feel like one continuous digital ecosystem. Apps like Safari, Keynote, and Messages are reimagined in 3D space, while tools like Mac Virtual Display turn your headset into a massive workspace. Samsung's Galaxy XR, on the other hand, runs on Android XR, co-developed with Google. This makes it more open and flexible, compatible with millions of Android apps and services. It supports hand tracking, voice control, 
and even integrates AI features through Google's multimodal Gemini Assistant. If Apple's ecosystem is about polish and tight integration, Samsung's is about freedom and flexibility. So it really comes down to what environment you live in, Apple for its elegance and performance, or Samsung for its openness and adaptability. Both headsets are loaded with sensors and cameras that make spatial computing possible. The Vision Pro M5 uses an advanced array of cameras for eye tracking, facial recognition, and 3D spatial mapping. Apple's machine learning pipeline processes these inputs with incredible precision, whether you're selecting icons with your gaze or navigating virtual spaces. The Galaxy XR takes a similar approach, with two high-resolution front cameras for pass-through, six tracking cameras for position detection, and four internal eye-tracking cameras. It's impressive, fast, accurate, and responsive. Samsung also emphasizes AI-enhanced tracking, which helps maintain accuracy even when lighting conditions vary. Both deliver industry-leading tracking, but Apple's feels a slightly more seamless in interaction, while Samsung's offers wider compatibility with Android-based content. Battery life, always a weak spot for XR devices, shows modest gains here. Apple's Vision Pro M5 gives you about three hours of video playback, slightly more efficient than the M2 version thanks to its new chip. Samsung's Galaxy XR runs for about two to two and a half hours with its external battery. Not a huge difference, but that modular design makes swapping easier if you have spare packs. For connectivity, both offer Wi-Fi 7 and Bluetooth 5.3 or newer, so wireless accessories and streaming are smooth and future-proof. Now let's talk dollars, because these aren't cheap toys. The Apple Vision Pro M5 starts at $34.99, same as the previous generation. It's premium pricing, but Apple is targeting professionals, developers, and creators who actually use it as a productivity tool. Meanwhile, the Samsung Galaxy XR starts at $17.99, about half the price. That's a huge deal. You're getting a top-tier XR experience, Android compatibility, and solid hardware without breaking the bank. If cost is a deciding factor, Samsung wins hands down. But if you want the absolute best hardware-software synergy, Apple still leads the pack. Who should buy which? If you're already invested in Apple's ecosystem and you want a headset that doubles as a professional productivity tool, the Vision Pro M5 is the ultimate choice. It's unmatched in visual quality, computing power, and ecosystem integration. But if you're an Android user, a creative explorer, or someone who wants a premium XR experience at a more approachable price, the Galaxy XR is a no-brainer. It's the best entry point into mixed reality without going all in financially. At the end of the day, both the Apple Vision Pro M5 and the Samsung Galaxy XR represent two sides of the same revolution. Apple's Vision Pro M5 is the refined powerhouse, premium, polished, and purpose-built for professionals. Samsung's Galaxy XR is the smart disruptor, open, versatile, and significantly more affordable. No matter which one you choose, you're stepping into the next generation of computing, where screens, windows, and keyboards begin to fade, and the digital world unfolds all around you. So, which one would you pick? Apple's Ultra Premium Vision Pro M5 or Samsung's Open Flexible Galaxy XR? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and if you enjoyed this deep dive, don't forget to like and subscribe for more XR and tech comparisons like this one. Until next time, thanks for watching, and welcome to the future of spatial computing.